Double jump. What's uh, that? Single jump. <laughs> It's time to bring back the refreshers. Today we're making strawberry ones. We have white cranberry, strawberry juice, and vanilla coconut milk. Y'all have never seen us make these before. It's kind of a copycat of like the Dunkin' refreshers. A little bit like the pink drink from Starbucks. But they're more, I would say more like the Dunkin' refreshers. You definitely want to use the vanilla coconut milk if you want it to be, you know, close to Dunkin's, but you can use any kind. So I'm just going to make a little picture of it here. We're outside playing games on the back porch because it's a sloppy one out there. It's still been raining off and on, so we can't really do too much outside, but we're out there playing some games, and I thought I'd make us a little refresher real quick before it's time to cook supper. So I went about to there with the, I might need to do a little more of the strawberry juice. You want more of the juice than the coconut milk and you want them to be the same temperature. If they're not the same temperature, it, they kind of separate, you know, when you mix them together. But if they're the same, you shouldn't have much separation. I forgot to shake this. Let me shake it. Now we'll stir it together. And that's it. You want to ask me? No. Okay. I just want to drink. Can you give me a cup to drink out of? Yeah. Sis, you think it's going to be too hard for you? You don't need a straw. Um, I'm going to enjoy it. It's a pink wee flesher. What about? Mom, you can sit right here. You can sit right here. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Alright, supper time. Tonight we're making a Southwest cornbread casserole. We start with a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix. Or you could totally just make a pan of your regular cornbread. We normally use White Lily or Martha White. I have this box of Jiffy in the cabinet, so we're gonna use that. We need half a cup of milk. Oh, that coffee smells good. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. We went to the antique stores yesterday, or the day before, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Anyway, we got the stuff for the back porch, and I showed y'all that stuff, but I got a couple of things, maybe three things, uh, for inside that I forgot to show y'all. One egg. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all together and I'm gonna grease a 9x13 pan. We'll pour this in and put it in the oven to let it bake. It's probably just gonna take it about probably eight to ten minutes because in a 9x13, you know it's gonna be pretty thin. get this in the oven and I'll start the ground beef then I'll show y'all my other finds and I'm just gonna set an eight-minute timer oh y'all you know what if you want to cook something the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven honey oh that's nice it's been nice. snowed in oh they got snowed in blizzard yeah. Hibernate. Oh, they got some TNT in there with them. They better be careful. <laughs> I thought I had already started the oven preheating, but I remember I came over here to do it earlier and then I saw something else that I needed to do and the rest is history. I did not preheat the oven. <laughs> Your marshmallow what? <laughs> my marshmallow head. Oh, you have a marshmallow head? Yeah, you look at it. Yeah. It's a mini marshmallow head. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Are y'all ready to see this beauty? This beautiful percolator. I'm calling it Aunt D's percolator because it kind of looks like one that Aunt B used on some of the episodes of the Andy Griff show. Not exactly. It was white like this. Had some kind of flowers or something on it. I made some in it last night. We just, we started a fire because it was kind of cool last night. And I put the coffee and everything in it and I sat it on the wood stove and it took it a little while because, you know, this is really thick stuff here. But it eventually 
percolated some coffee and it was great. It's so pretty. And this one, it's almost in like new condition, y'all. I mean, you can see, I'm not sure what year this one is from. Uh, I need to just look it up and see. I mean, it might not even be that old, but it's, it definitely wasn't used a lot. And then this country kitchen sign. Titus is going to hang this up above the refrigerator for me. Right there on the other side of the spoon and fork. Oh, now the oven's ready. <laughs> Put our cornbread in. I forgot, y'all. There was one other thing that Titus absolutely loved, and that was this. Yeah, and it has a broom. Yeah, like it has a little broom and a little shovel. He already used it. He cleaned out the wood stove with yeah, it last time. and this. And that. Be careful with that one. And then I just hung our other little fire poker that we used on the back of it back there. But yeah, he also found that. I think it was just, uh, I think it was $15 yeah, if I remember right. Yeah, this one's old. Yeah, it's and pretty this. old, huh? I don't and think it's super old. old with the trees. I don't know. It could be old. We don't know. <laughs> this is just about ready to drain. I'm going to go ahead and get our other stuff ready. We need two packs of taco seasoning. Um, one can of Southwest corn. It's uh, corn with poblano and red peppers. Then we need two cans of Rotel. I had the great value kind though. Diced tomatoes with green chilies. And that's everything that we mix with the meat mixture. The other stuff we're gonna mix with sour cream, which is just the sour cream and cheese. So all of these need to be drained too, so I'm gonna drain them real quick. Okay, we need two thirds of a cup of water. Okay, I think this cornbread's ready to come out. It ended up being in there for about 12 and a half minutes. Put that back there for now. Huh? Oh, you wanna eat out there? Okay, there's the corn. And the tomatoes. Oh, that is smelling good. Now, we'll just let this stay right here on warm for a minute while we mix up the sour cream and cheese. We have some four cheese Mexican shredded cheese. So we're gonna put about 20 ounces of sour cream. We're going to mix in about a cup and a half of the cheese. Get this all mixed together. Now I'm going to put just a little bit, like a couple of tablespoons of milk in here. I'm just going to eyeball it. This will just help the sour cream mixture to spread a little easier. Okay, we're ready to layer it up. We put the meat mixture on top of the cornbread. Should be able to pick it up now. It was kind of heavy at first. I forgot y'all, I'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic powder in this sour cream mixture. Just about a quarter teaspoon to half a teaspoon. Now we'll spread it over the top of the meat mixture. Now we just put some more cheese on top and it's boiled in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Could add some like kidney beans or pinto beans to this too and make it like a chili taco cornbread bake. That would be good. If you wanted to make it more cheesy, you could add in like half a block of softened cream cheese to the sour cream. That would be good.
delicious. How's that green sauce? We've never tried that kind before. I like it. Is it hot? It says hot. So it's a little spicy. There's a little heat on that right there. It's almost got a, it's almost got like a little tamale deal going there. Because of the good. cornbread. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Really good. 